Okay. Hello, it's Iron Gentleman here with Ironic Patriot as my partner in Justice, bringing you a tutorial here, starting new and fresh on Minecraft 1.7.2, I believe. And, uh, Ironic Patriot, would you like to add anything to the beginning? What we're going to be showing you here today is how to build and make this, uh, rebuilding wall. It's a regenerating structure using redstone power. For those who still don't know about its, uh, complete in usefulness yet and exactly how it's built and I'm gonna be bringing it to you in a short little tutorial all the materials you'll need are in my inventory already so right now if you look let me test it out real quick for you break some blocks it's gonna keep rebuilding those blocks on top of each other this is useful for like castles and shit multiplayer people can't break into your shit they can't uh, destroy it with TNT as long as you cover the bottom with obsidian Basically, you're going to have redstone repeaters set up on number three, or, or whatever, you know, three clicks, whatever. So, uh, I'm going to click it twice over here for both. You're going to set the redstone around it. It doesn't matter where you start it. It matters how you time it, and you're going to put a lever right here. You're going to turn it on, destroy the lever. It's going to have an, a uh, continuously flowing red pulse. Oops, I did that too slowly. Let me try that again. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to break the redstone right here and place another piece of redstone within a designated amount of time so you have an instantly flowing uh, redstone source. Okay, there you go. Just break it and put it down slower and slower at a time until it does this exactly. You can also alter the speed of which the wall rebuilds itself by fucking with the redstone just a little bit yeah yeah exactly thank you uh... if you were to turn this uh... to a certain pace it would go slower or faster depending on which number you put it on so uh... we're gonna set up redstone repeaters right here as well and we're gonna put those on two so we're gonna hit them once yes it is kinda laggy just cause of all the redstone contraptions and shit going off right here you're gonna put stone blocks the redstone signal gets carried through the redstone repeaters into the blocks now look at this put our nifty pistons on top and it's a nice repetitive pushing motion so then we'll now cover each of the redstone repeaters and around the sticky pistons so that we can uh, contain the lava and the water on top to create stone when they flow into each other as you know uh, water flowing into lava creates stone and vice versa would be obsidian so I'll show you how to make it so it turns into stone in this case <coughs> Look at that lag. Okay, so we're just going to build up our wall right here real quick. Hold everything in it. Any any uh, words of justice from you, Ironic Patriot? Stone. Yep. Very, very, very inspiring. Ironic Patriot, the, uh, the man in uniform form who you can always count on to give some good advice about anything in particular. Okay. We're going to put stone over the pistons, directly above the pistons, and we're going to cover up the sides so that the lava and water cannot run in either direction except downwards and out into the pistons. With no particular place. That's a beautiful musical chime. Thank you, Ironic Patriot. Anything for a citizen? Anything at all. Remember patrons, we'll always be here to help you. Alright, so here's the, uh, a little bit more difficult part, but it's the last part of our regenerating wall here. It's useful for, uh, you know, like I said, castles, uh, you know, houses in general. You can put, like, uh, obsidian at the top so, or bottom so the shit underneath can't get destroyed by TNT, etc. I'm going to fill in these parts. Okay, so what I do, I like to place the lava in first. On either side, it doesn't matter, but you place it at the top block right here, not the bottom one. You got to place it at the top block. And you're gonna do the same for the water on the other side. Water right there. Oh, shit! I'm getting pushed up already. And then water right here. Water in each space at the very tip. As you can see, our wall is building. And if we break these blocks right here, it will still push upwards. Again, here's a look at the makings. Remember, you want to put your redstone repeaters that are pointing inwards to the block at uh, one click per whatever bullshit, and these at two. And you're going to have 
the redstone repeater, one facing this way and one facing the opposite direction. Infinite power. Infinite power! You guys wouldn't know anything about that. We're, uh, we're Iron Gentlemen, an ironic patriot. Signing off, thank you for watching. Thank you.